Johnson County could soon be the first community in the state to put a program in place that would keep kids who break the law out of jail and hopefully away from a life of crime. The county plans to implement a jail diversion program as soon as possible. CBS 2 News reporter Brittany Borgie here now to explain how that works. Brittany. Yeah, Scott and Tiffany. So before people start thinking that this means that kids are going to get out scot-free, let me explain. The jail diversion program is very specific. It takes kids who would normally get charged with a misdemeanor for fighting in school and instead of handing them over to the court system, gets them real help. It's all about changing the culture of incarceration. In Johnson County, an African-American kid is five times more likely to be arrested than a white kid. It's one reason last year's jail referendum failed. It was the reason for the first annual Disproportionate Minority Contact Forum, and it leaves many asking, I get it, but what do I do about it? After heading to a seminar at Georgetown University last year, county officials, school district employees, and Iowa City Police came up with an answer. Our team sees no reason why within a year or so, all first time simple misdemeanor cases that are charged against the juveniles in Johnson County can't be considered for an appropriate diversion program. So kids are kept away from courts and hopefully away from being a statistic. And clearly the data shows that if a juvenile goes to detention, uh, the, there's a likelihood that they're not going to graduate from high school and a likelihood that they, they are going to, we are going to see them later on in, a, in the adult criminal justice system. If you can't control the front end, then what we find is that every step of the process, the numbers get increasingly disproportionate. So how do we start at the beginning? Many say that involves engaging the communities the program impacts first. To be able to be a part of the conversation so that they can put input into whether or not these are the issues they see or whether or not this program will even be something that you or families will be interested in participating in. Now the county hopes to start the program in the Iowa City School District this fall. They say in the first year it could keep 66% of kids out of the juvenile detention system. Brittany Borgie, CBS2 News, 10 at 10.